Hey guys and welcome to this video about a kanji museum in Kyoto. It opened on the 29th of June. When you first walk in, to your left is a shop with all kinds of beautiful work. You can buy a variety of things like Gosho Incho books, a pouch with a meaningful kanji on them, origami books and handmade wooden ornaments. I even bought a stamped coin celebrating the Gion Matsuri, which is actually held two minutes away from this museum. Once you've finished admiring the goods, outside you buy a ticket which is 800 yen for one adult. You are given an interactive leaflet to fill out along the way. First, you're shown into a room to watch a video about where kanji came from, which, as a student of Japanese, it was really fascinating. Then, along the ground floor, which is the first floor in Japan, you read about the history of kanji and the alphabets. In the video next, you can see on the left the kanji how it is now, and on the right, where the kanji came from. I found the leaflet really educational as I got to use the stamps provided to stamp my name in the old style hiragana, katakana and kanji. Then we even learnt the kanji for some of the countries that used to be used. Now though, majority of them are written in katakana. On showing the museum, they have different types of writing materials, from typewriters, calligraphy brushes, all the way to smartphones that are used nowadays. Next, make your way upstairs. At the top, to your right, you can play games to win a rubber and bookmark. You can even make a badge to commemorate the amazing day that you've had. This floor is full of educational, interactive games. I played a touchscreen card game where you match kanji together. I played with my friend and two Japanese ladies, but didn't do that well. Then I played a guess the kanji reading and find out the answer by looking in the drawer. I also got to match the kanji to the picture. As an example, this kanji is Tokyo's Kyo and Kyoto's Kyo. And this is how it changed over the years. Interesting, eh? There's a board where you guess the missing kanji from a famous saying. This one was, kill two birds with one stone. In Japanese, isseki micho. So if you're studying Japanese, or you just want to have a nice trip out, be sure to visit the Kanji Museum in Kyoto. I'll leave any information in the description box below. And as always, thanks a lot for watching, and see you soon. Bye! The first ever to be built by the state. It was founded by Prince Shotoku, who supported the introduction.